quite... Quite the heavy box, if I might say, and absolutely gigantic. That's what she... Some of you might be wondering what's in this box. I am leaning on it because it's actually pretty comfortable. If you didn't read the title and description, shame on you, but I forgive you anyways. That's okay. It's okay. I'm really excited about this box simply because what's in here is serious stuff. This is a collectible toy, not for little ones. This is for serious people like us grains here. And not just that, I'm gonna ruin one of them. So they're not cheap, but I'm ruining it. This is what I've become, taking things that I absolutely love and destroying them. In the same way that craft kits, they break my heart. So this is revenge. Alright, there's a lot of extra in here that I had no idea about. By the way, this box was sent to me by Pop Mart. For those of you who follow me on my vlog channel, Nerdy Jackie, during my Vlogmas, I made a video about high-end toys from Japan. And I really wish we had these here in Canada, more specifically in my area, Montreal, but we don't. And just in case any of you greens are interested, this is not sponsored, not affiliated, but they do have a giveaway going on on the 22nd and 20th. 3rd of July. I'll link them down below. So when they asked me what do I want, they have the cutest selection of vinyl figures. So I selected a few and then told them, you know what, just surprise me cuz I love surprises. Why'd I do this? I am an alpha. By the way, these are mystery boxes so I have no idea what I'm getting. Which is always exciting but also scary. So for today, we will be unboxing these figurines and we'll see what they look like and which ones we get because they're going to be very random. But, 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 you will be able to choose which figurines I can modify from cute to figure of darkness in another video if this video right here gets enough likes. So make sure you click on the thumbs up, that way I know that that's what you want to see. So not only are you greens going to choose one, which I have a feeling will probably be my favorite one because you greens like to break them a heart. Why you like it to break them a heart? I know you greens. I know you like to troll me and pick the things I love the most so that I can destroy them. I know, it's okay, I know. And then the next figurine will be chosen by my burb. So, in the same way that my parrot chooses my supplies, my parrot will also be choosing one of the figurines and what I do with it. So remember, comment and like so that, that, we, that, that, that way we can ruin toys that are so precious. Why do I do that? Don't ask. Just don't ask. So the first thing I notice is a bag, I guess, I think. Ooh, a reusable bag. This is really cute. And it's padded on the inside. And the logo's pretty cute. It has Pop Mart, Love Life Low Carbon. Make something fun. And I have a second bag. But oh my god, this is where I have goosebumps now. This is, this is where I'm starting to get very excited. Very excited. Let's continue looking at the extra gifts they put in there before we do the mystery boxes. And, oh my god, I love this series so much. So we get two packs of stickers. I'm wondering if they're the same. Oh, these feel very velvety. Ooh. So they have more of their human type characters. When they asked me which ones I wanted, I said I prefer animal type characters. So like these ones here from the secret forests. Oh my God, I love him. These stickers are super pastel-y, absolutely adorable. That is cute. Now let's see if it's the same one. And I think they are, or are they? So yes, absolutely, they are the same. However, one set has a more pastel type color, whereas the other one has deeper colors. And it doesn't feel like it's because the ink was missing. It's just different saturations. Next, two of these, not sure what it is, but it is from my favorite series, which is Forest Concert. We, we get two of them, so let's just check out one. Struggle is real. And are these postcards? Oh my god! Oh my god! These are absolutely beautiful illustrations with postcards. So I will select randomly. How many are there? So I have five of these. These I'll keep for personal use. But I will select five members and five patrons and send you a little postcard. Next! No! Is that a clipboard? 
No. Oh. This is adorable. This is the, oh. Oh, it's holding a kitty cat. And its helmet is a kitty. Or is that its hair? Regardless, that is the cutest darn thing ever. I mean. I am the salt. I love darkness. But it is cute. So we have a really tiny one here. Good for postcard size. And for some reason I have two. Thank you. Now for the fun part, the mystery boxes. As you can see, I have about five different sets, but I have 20 of these. Each one is about 10,000 yen, which is about $10, more or less. So it is about $254 of collectible figurines. So I have everything from Balloon Land, which is absolutely magical and dreamy. Carnival Monsters, my favorite little ones. VV Cat, both in the lazy laying around and lazily sitting. And then we have the Demu, I always have a hard time saying these ones, but it's called Stray Animals. And then that is on, that, that is not all, that is not all. I knocked my phone. You saw that thing. And then I have entire sets. The first one is, I kind of forgot what I ordered by the way, it's been a while. Little Voyagers, so sleeping glow-in-the-dark animals. Next we have, oh, I forgot about this one. No, yes. Is it no or is it yes? It's yes, it's yes. I totally forgot about this one. I forgot to mention, Pop Mart actually collaborates with artists. So artists who want to turn their drawings into figurines have the opportunity to do so with Pop Mart. And it so happens to be that one of my favorite artists, Konatsu, who does absolutely beautiful watercolor and who's also a Japanese artist, released their second set of vinyl figures. The first one, they were in tuna cans. Unfortunately, I couldn't get my hands on these ones because they were in Japan when I wasn't there and they were sold out. But this second set is pretty new, so I'm so excited. I hope I don't end up destroying that one. So as you can see, similarly to Konatsu's absolutely beautiful watercolor drawings, we have kitty cats in different poses doing different things with sweets. Everything from strawberry mochi to pancake, cake, and boba. And last but not least, oh yes, oh yes, this. This I specifically remember. Hang on, I'm just putting things away. A fairy tale series of vinyl figures. This one had me really excited because again, it is one of their newest series. And they have little characters that are dressed in iconic characters from fairy tales that we mostly grew up with. So characters like Little Red Riding Hood, the baby dragon, a wizard, and so on and so forth. Oh, and just to be clear, the ages for these collectibles are 15 and up. So in total, I do have 50 blind boxes. And each one is 10,000 yen again. Is it 1,000? 1,000. I meant to say 1,000. It's 10 bucks. US. More or less. Which comes up to $634 worth of high-end collectible figurines. I may have gone overboard. Just a little. And if you're not into vinyl figures, Pop Mart also collaborates with artists to create really tiny plushies. Limited edition ones too. This one is called Bobo and Coco Cherry Blossom. It doesn't smell like cherry blossom, but how cool would it have been if it were? And it is absolutely precious. <laughs> so cute. It's so tiny. Perfect for a charm for your bag. And you, my little dango, are adorable too. It's gonna go on my bag. They're so soft. eight random mystery boxes. I am really excited to unbox them, but however, look at me straight into the windows of my soul. For those of you wondering, but Jakey, there's 42 other ones. What are you going to do with them? Make sure that you do follow me on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube stories and my vlog channel. It's a lot of places because I'll be randomly unboxing them here and there. So if you're curious, follow any or all of them. Our first unboxing, Demu Stray Animals. I really love the front of the box because it seems like we get characters with animals as hats. Kind of like what I do. Huh, that's why I like it. Why is there still construction in front of my house? Are you done yet? 
At the front of the box, we get a cute little squid. And then we have 12 different designs in which one of them is a secret. I really hope to salt that we don't get the secret one. Let me know which one in the comment section below that you would really have wanted to unbox. We have everything from panda, little elephant, piglet, sheep, sheba, white crane, fox, hedgehog, rabbit, bluebird, kitty, and then the secret. If I really was going to get one that I personally want, it would be the blue burb because it has a crown. And if I were to modify it, I would hope for the kitty because it seems to be the most basic and I wouldn't feel so bad destroying it. All right, here we go. Oh, that was satisfying. And, oh, that one's also wrapped. I'm not going to look at, hang on, I'm gonna put this thing here. Dang it, I saw it. Dang it. I was hoping not to see it. So, usually you're not supposed to look at the card, so that's why I put my hand on it right away. But apparently we see exactly what's in there. Sheep. Now, my brain doesn't work very quickly, luckily for me, so I don't remember what the sheep looks like. So we're gonna put this aside, so we're not gonna look at what the sheep looks like. We got a silica packet, and here we go. And, oh no! Oh, that is adorable! It looks like a little toasted marshmallow hat. And the expression on the character is absolutely adorable. For those of you wondering, it is slightly poseable. You could just move the hand. That's it. Up and down. That's it. But as always, the Pop Mart figurines are absolutely beautiful. The shading, the coloring, and even the weight of the toy is not light and gross and plastic. It actually has some weight to it. I just absolutely love the shading and the color on this. You can tell it's not cheap. And this is the card for sheep. Very cute. Next we have Little Voyagers. This one has six different designs from fish, raccoon, frog, cat, hamster, and cactus in which all of them are just really sleepy. I'm almost sure these ones are supposed to glow in the dark. Let's just take a moment to appreciate the holographic. Look at the picture change. <laughs> For modification sake, I'm going to hope for the hamster. I did leave the card on the inside this time, so I don't get a chance to look at it, and... No! This would have been the hardest to modify. Let's hope that's not the one I get, though. But, it is pretty cute. And the wheels work. Or do they? They do. So we seem to have gotten the Fish King, and its motto is, I need some me time. I really like the design of that one. I'm not sure why there's wheels under the bathtub, but let's just go with it. And let's turn the lights off. And there go the lights. Voila. So as you can see, it does glow in the dark, but remember that my exposure is set to high and it has to be closer to sunlight in order... Oh, this is really pretty though. Make sure that you do have it closer to sunlight if you want it to shine this brightly in the dark. And here's the insert card. Oh no! Oh, grains! There's even a story that comes inside. That is really cool. So I'm gonna definitely be reading this story. It's kind of like a little, little background story of the character. I like that. This is really heavy. Huh. You saw And as I mentioned, Konatsu is one of my favorite artists and I do follow them on Instagram. So if you're interested, I'll leave all the links down below. And we're getting kitty cat designs. Everything from, as I mentioned, strawberry mochi, we have chocolate, we have cake, we have, we have macaron, the macaron, we have the macaron. We seem to have two packages here. I'm guessing the second one is probably the accessory, so. <gasps> Boba baby! Oh, I love you. Oh, kitten. Oh my God, the details. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to transform you. So as you can see, this little fella is the Boba kitty cat. The details are adorable. The little bell, the little bow, the expression on its face. Oh my god, I love Konatsu so much. And I'm guessing this is the plastic cup. Yes, it is the plastic cup. Perfect. So now that we just added the cup, it looks like it's boba in a cup with the straw. And the straw really does look like it's in there. Probably one of my favorites. I love you. I have the whole set. I don't want to ruin you, but I have no choice. We'll see. We will see in the next video if there's enough likes. Make sure you like. And I know we're nowhere near Halloween, but the next one is... 
the Monsters Carnival series. I really love these little bunny critters as you've seen in my unboxing vlog sample. I don't know what it is about their devious faces, but you can see that we get everything from little bunnies to skeleton type critters. And again, we get anything from mummies to vampire lord, scarecrow, and then there's little bats and wolfman, but holy moly, these are adorable. If I had to choose one to modify, this one's hard. This one's really hard. I would say the mummy would be the easiest and the science eccentric would be the most difficult. What's in store for us? And oh, we have the wolf kid or wolf boy or wolf man. I said all of them, but the one that was supposed to be. Oh my god, I love them. Can't move the tail. You can't move anything else. Can't even move the head. There seems to be something else in here. Oh, we get a little stand. I really want this one, but I didn't want to open it for modification because if I do get it, I do have to destroy it and I'm not happy about that, but we'll see. And again, the details, the shading, the coloring, the weight of this figurine, wonderful. And this is our card. Next, we have two different boxes from VV Cat. I personally love Chunker Kitties because I have my own personal Chunker Kitty Cat. I love him. His name is Ramses and he's the most precious thing in my life. And here we have both the sitting down and lying down collection. And as you can see from the sitting down one, it's mostly either on its bum or laying down on its back. Whereas the laying down edition, or is it lying or laying down? It's pretty much mostly on its stomach. I think any of these can be very easily modifiable because cats are, are easily turned into creatures of darkness. Unless they're super cute, then it's hard. I kind of opened both, so I'm not sure which one is which. And so if it's on its bum or back, then we know it's sitting down. Oh, okay, so this is the sitting down. It is way bigger than I thought. I love this. We have some really cute details on the box, even the crevices of where it would be kind of folded because of the weight. We have a little stamp and it still says VV Cat. We have the pop mark and at the bottom we still have VV Cat. That is really cute. I love the details on this one. It's much lighter than their normal figurines, but the quality still feels like good material. It's not cheap stuff. Next. And no way we got two of them in boxes. What's what are the odds? So the odds for both was 1 in 12, because there's only one box design in each. Now I hope we don't get to have to change these, or if I do change one, it'll be both to make them match. I'm smart. Card. Card. These are the insert cards. And similarly to the previous one, we have some of the same detail for the shipment, except this one is holding a can of tuna that says VV Cat. Let's appreciate Chunker Kitty's folds because they are so cute. I just wanna, I just wanna hug them so much. Who is a cute kitty? <laughs> By the way, I got this token looking thing inside the box. If you know what it's for, let me know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> Next we have Demo Fairy Tales. Again, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. So for those of you who want to say it. But Yankee, you're saying it wrong. Stop it. How do you say it and how do you know for sure that what you're saying is right? The answer is we never know. We never know. This fairy tale series has me really excited, and that's why I had asked for the entire set. There's just something about fairy tales that is very nostalgic, and hey, many of us have watched Disney, right? Let me know in the comment section below what is your favorite Disney movie. Not character, just movie. For me, it's between Aladdin and Mulan. These two are my faves. But then again, I also like Moana. It's hard to choose. Let me know your two favorite movies. <laughs> In this set, we can get anything from Little Red Riding Hood, the Frog Prince, a little warrior, and wizard, but we also have a secret that seems to be like a castle. I'm not sure. I don't want to get any special editions because I don't want to ruin them. I feel like the easiest to modify would probably be either R Little Red Riding Hood or the Ugly Duckling. And which one do we get? Oh, the Warlock. Does this move? No, but it's so cute. Ermie Gerd. Why is there a hole in its hand? By the way, I still have goosebumps. This is adorable. Wait, the hair is somewhat translucent -y too. I really like how the cauldron looks like it has an eye on top and that the bottom part of the cauldron actually look like little feet. The hair and the head are really cute. I love the translucent red, but the little demony type look is cute too. I, I can't stop saying cute. The outfit, the pose, the eyes. I really love this. 
This would be very difficult to modify. I hope I don't have to, but holy moly, I would need to actually cut pieces off. Aha. There we go, our cute little warlock. Oh, and interestingly enough, the head does turn and we can take it off. Interesting. Insert card. The last two I've kept are the cutest ones in my, you know, they're all cute. It's so hard to choose. I mean, dark in the soul. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I fooling? Absolutely nobody. This one here is called Balloon Land and it features fruits mixed with animals. It's probably going to be one of the easiest to modify, but I guess we'll see. As you can see, we get anything from a grape frog, a mango pig, a citrus red panda, and even a banana lop. I'm not sure what a lop is though. I'm going to assume this is pretty much open the same way they used to make us drink milk at school. Let's go for it. Yes. Come on, I didn't lose my skills. There you go. <laughs> Ooh, I don't want to look at the card. And as always, let me know which one do you hope for in the comment section below. I think the easiest one to modify would probably be the Mangosteen Koala, this one. And the most difficult would be the Pineapple Elephant and Banana Lop, anything where the ears are too much. Can't tell if the ears are big. Oh, I don't want to see the companion and Ooh, what is, is that the mangosteen koala? It is, <laughs> this is the first one that I request and we get, this is a quite the heavy figure. Good for you, quite substantial. Again, the quality of this toy is absolutely phenomenal. I don't think I've ever eaten a mangosteen before, so for those of you who have, let me know what it tastes like. This is a really cute toy, I love you. Oh, I love you too, nerdy crafter, you're so sweet to me. Anytime, little fella. And now for the companion, we have the Mangosteen Bear character, all also dolled up. That is a cute set. That is a really cute set. Part of me now doesn't want to destroy it, but the show must go on. And here's the answer card. And here are the eight that I unboxed. It's been quite the video. But remember, make sure that you vote which one you would like me to modify it. Into a creature of darkness. Knowing you grains, you're probably going to choose the one that I love the most, because you love it to break my heart. Why you do this to me? I know, you guys love to peer pressure me into things. So I'm already preparing emotionally for this. And also let me know which one is your favorite. I might as well say goodbye to Konatsu, right? Bye kitty cat. My beautiful bubble tea kitty cat. If you want to watch a video YouTube thinks is just right for you, make sure you check down here. And if you want to watch a video that I think is pretty good, make sure you check up here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.